1039 WRCN, The Rock of Long Island. How you doing? I'm Tommy. Hey, I'm Mikey <laughs> D. This is Mario. <laughs> and we are the Bocce Boys. All right, anyway, what's up, Tommy? You've heard of my parents' friend, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Stone. Of course, for they, years. They moved from Bayshore to... Vegas. Well, well, no, they moved to Florida. Okay. To Davie, Florida. Okay. For some reason, her daughter married some guy, Joe, and moved to Texas. Listen, I'll prove it. The stars at night are big and bright. I don't know who moves to Texas, but we always make fun of, uh, you know, what did they say from an officer and a gentleman? The only two people in Texas are steers. Steers and queers. Steers and queers. Yes. Steers and queer. Which one are you, boy? Yes, yes. And you anyway. don't look like no steer to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see no horns. So you must be a queer. <laughs> so anyway, Joe and uh, Julie moved to Texas. Because you really need to come down to Texas. And I'm like, why? Wait, What's, wait, they, the what? parents moved to Texas? No, too? the parents went to go visit Julie for Christmas. Okay, all right. And so Julie's you know, in Texas with the new husband. Joe's a big... And Mr. and Mrs. Stone go to Texas to visit their daughter. Yes. I'm just trying to lay this yes. out for the, for the audience. Joe right? is a very, very big fan of Carfellas. So he, they, got me, they got me on speaker. And he's saying, hello, I love the show, this, that, and the other thing. You, you guys really need to come down to Texas. I asked him why. He told me that at this place called Ginny's Little Longhorn Saloon, they've got chicken shit bingo. Chicken shit bingo. What the hell is chicken shit bingo? Instead of rolling a ball in a cage and pulling the ball out, no. they put a chicken in a cage no. with a mesh bottom, and wherever he shits, whatever number, no. that's the number they call out. Get the hell out of here. Bro, listen to me. I googled it and everything. And it pops up. Ginny's Little Longhorn Saloon. They got little uh, Vimeo uh, videos of the whole thing. This has been going on since 2002 in Burn uh, Austin, <laughs> Texas. And it's called Chicken Shit Bingo. It's, it's actually called chicken, chicken shit, shit bingo. bingo. Yes. Oh. And it's one word, right? That's great. No, it's three no, words. No, no, it's no, no, the chicken shit's one word. What the hell difference does that make? It's two words, you moron. No, it's Chick one word for them. Because you can say it on air. You just air. heard about it. How could you, you can say it on air, you knucklehead. I can still say it on air. It's, it's a real thing. It doesn't matter. You can't separate the words. It's got to be one word, chicken shit. You <laughs> dummy. Okay, so dumbass. <laughs> one word, dummass. <laughs> Dumbass! Yes, you can say all that. Alright, alright, alright. Anyway, chicken shit bingo. Okay, so where, where does the story go? That this is the craziest shit that I've ever heard of. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, I separated that okay, time and all right, all right. I... Crazy shit, one word. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, where other than Texas are they going to have a chicken in a cage Go into the bathroom through a mesh thing, whatever number that's it crazy. lands on. That's ridiculous. It's that's, 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 so I gotta be he's saying that I think that's animal of, cruelty. He, he thought of you enough to say, "Hey, you need to come it, down there." Believe it or not, it's that popular since 2002. This has been going on, and I thought this was so insane that I looked up other things since oh, 90, here we go. 19, oh, here we go. 1995. Take the Google out of his house. Cow patty bingo. They have also. You know what cow patties are, right? Yes, yeah, no, I don't. Cow patties are. That's big cool. crap piles. Oh, I just say made... cow. Crap. Crap. I understand. Well, but what they call it cow patty bingo. Anyway, I'm just saying that. A patty as... something eat like a sausage well, patty. I'm not it. putting shit it's in that. Patty. I'm not putting cow crap in that video in that same thing. I'm not playing any show at all. <laughs> me, this is what they call it, and I can't believe in Texas they have such a thing uh, called chicken shit bingo. Well, maybe there is steers in here. Maybe would, we should all go and just check out the chicken shit bingo. Not. I would you have fun. I would definitely just to check it out and say I went. I and video it. us playing chicken shit bingo, bro. I don't want anybody to see me doing this, but I would like to see it myself. But how about at the end of the game, if we don't win, we grab the chicken and we cook them. <laughs> I, I, I just think it's ridiculous. Food. And yeah, it always turns. It somehow chicken shit bingo turns into lunch. 
Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's very funny, Tommy. Never heard of it. I've never funny. heard of it either, and I almost thought that they were full There's of crap. a lot of weird things going on, on in this country that you haven't heard of. Like? No, I'm just saying. Well, that was one of them, well, and that's, that's why so I wanted it in. Yeah. Maybe that's your new job. Every, every new, you know, show, you gotta come up with something like that. <laughs> Can you shut his mic off, please? <laughs> Is there, any, is there any? Shut up, Mario! Uh, well, that's your new it's job. It's not my job to be like well, now uh, it is. the crown prince of laughter. Yes. <laughs> People look at you later. You know, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean I'm funny? This <laughs> 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 is funny, you know? It's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> well, you mean the way I talk? <laughs> just, you know, you, it's, you're just funny. It's. Yeah, the way you tell the story, everything. Funny how? What's funny about it? Tommy, no, you got it all wrong. Oh, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? Right. Funny how? What? Just, you know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> you mean, so? well, let me understand this, because I don't you know. Maybe it's me, I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Just... You know how you tell a story? What? No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> you motherfucker! I almost had him! I almost had him! <laughs> you stuttering prick here! <laughs> Frankie, was he shaking? <laughs> wonder about you sometimes, Henry. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> We're back. No. That, that, uh, we're back. 1039 WRCN, The Rock, and the Bocce Boys. How you doing? We are the Bocce Boys, and uh, we are back on the ring. Mario's got to get that intro out because it's the only thing he could do without stopping. I was just going to say this yeah. is the most that he's talked in the three or four months yeah, we've what been is out it? here. What is it? Because I do it good. I got to memorize it. When I'm at home, I memorize it. 1039 WRCN, The practice. Rock of Long Island. He practices in the mirror. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Bocce Boys. We are the Bocce Boys. Boys. That's this very good. Is, We've made a little transformation and uh, kind of reinvented the show and doing a lot of big things with it. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, in coordinates here with uh, Sawgrass Productions. And uh, so we got Dan here. We didn't introduce Dan. Dan is here filming the show tonight, which will be available soon on our YouTube page and on our Pachi Boys Facebook. And uh, then we got Chris, our producer, is here tonight. Uh, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, in charge of hey, making sure that, Chris. that we sound good. All right, Chris smiled again. All right. Anyway, we're sitting here tonight with a, with a local Long Island celebrity. A local Long Island celebrity. Oh, hi guys. And oh, I thought you were talking about And me. it's Tommy. No. Yeah. Anyway, Eric Chopin is here from uh, season three, Eric. Yes, yes. What's up, fellas? How are you? Good. Great, Good. great. And season three, say of the Biggest Loser. Season three of the Biggest Loser, the biggest which is loser. a phenomenal show on what is that? NBC. NBC. Yeah, Channel Four. Channel right here Four. In New York. Right here in New York, and and you. I, I gotta ask you now, uh, just a quick thing, how did you end up on The Biggest Loser to start? Uh, well, I was a fan of the show, I, you know, I had the deli, and uh, I watched it like crazy. I'm, here, I'm a reality show fan, so I'm watching it, and I'm like... These you never watch Carfellas, right? Well, of course I watch oh. Carfellas. <laughs> just kidding. Good answer. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, no, so I'm watching the show, and I'm looking at these people, and I'm like, they look like me, you know? I mean, I feel like... It was kind of like, uh, you know, not to pat myself on the back, but there's a certain look. It's not just heavy, it's personality. You know, I'm an outgoing guy like you guys. Everybody's like, you got a good personality, yada, yada, yada. And then you see, like, the transformation. Like, wow, that 400 pound guy, he looks good at 200 pounds. How do you get the audition? So I'm watching it, and then uh, season t after season one wraps, I'm like, I gotta get on that show, I gotta get on that show. So I said to my wife, I'm gonna make a tape. She's like, no. I go, what are you talking about? She's like, you're going to get on it. I go, how do you get on it? One tape, I'm going to get on a tape, they're going to watch me, and you're on it. Like, it's like the lotto, you know? They don't just right. pick people. She's right. like, I, it's in my, in my gut, I know you'll get picked. So I put it off another season, because she was worried about running the deli. I had a deli. She's right. leaving by herself. You right. know, that she knows who shows. You leave your family. Yes. So uh, I then season two finishes, and then I go, now you have no excuse. You know how to work the store without me being there? And you were one year bigger. Yeah, a little more weight on it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. A little rounder. But uh, yeah, so long story short, I get up there and I'm like, 
you know, a big table like we're at now, a uh, conference table with 12 people. I make sure I sat across from the producer. And uh, he's like, I don't want you waiting and raising your hand. You know, just talk out of turn. Tell me what's on your mind. So this girl's like, I just want to look good in my jeans. And, you know, this guy's talking about this. And I, I stood up, but I just, because I got off the line earlier, and I went to take, you know, to the bathroom, and I broke my fly. And these were 54 jeans that I just got the day before to look good <laughs> at the casual right. mail, you know? Right. So I'm, I'm actually pissed off while I'm right. sitting there. So when the girl when the, I, the girl said that, I just stood up. I go, yeah, you want to do that? I want to lose the weight so I can zip my goddamn fly. <laughs> and they just started, you know, looking at me and then right. just started having a conversation with the uh, producer guy. What was the weight that he started yeah. with? When oh, yeah. Right. Well, you're asking me right now. Talk about that right now. No, no, no. no. I, mean, I was going to ask you that anyway, but go ahead. Yeah, you, yeah, at this point, when you, were, when you were on the 407 show. 407 pounds, they weighed me in there. All right, skip to the end. What do you weigh 193. now? 193. Wow. I dropped 214. Over 50% of the weight. I mean, I don't like bragging about it because I didn't hold it. I didn't hold it. How together. long did it actually take? It's like four months on the ranch, and then wow. it's like another four at home. You know? Wow. That's yeah. amazing. 214 pounds. Yeah. That's wow. three. Wow. Oh. That's, that's, that's three Victoria's Secret swimsuit models. <laughs> wow. I got a serious question for you. This is for fat men all over America right now. It, it, uh, uh, Tommy over here has a theory, and I'm gonna just bring it out there. Oh quick. boy! Tells me that for every hundred pounds you gain, you lose a quarter, a quarter inch of your penis. What the? F when you lost, when you were 193, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't understand. you hang <laughs> a little bit longer <laughs> than you do now? Yeah. 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 next to you. I yeah. He's yeah. Having, yeah. You got it. He's having his microphone you next to it. It is. You have less blocked vision, so it might be, you know, you were looking around the corner of a mountain, and now you're like, hey, I can see the clearing. Hey, <laughs> fire. Did you see anything? Hey, Beavis, I have seen the top of the mountain, and it is good. <laughs> You got a beautiful shot of him now, and he looks good. He's healthy. All right, all right. So, yeah. you, did you notice something? Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, you did. That's important. Oh, that's good to know, Tommy. So now you don't have to be sitting down no more, Tommy. Holy shit! shit, shit, shit. I think, first of all, Mario, you're the one that pees on your own nuts. <laughs> Listen, let's go on another level. I had to ask that question just because I wanted to hear it from somebody. He didn't give me really a definitive. Somebody that was. No, 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 he said. No. He said, yeah. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say yes. yes. And, 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 and so really, to, on a serious note, they had this high-end doctor, this, uh, this guy, Dr. Heisen, you know, who's watched us. He's from, he's headquartered in uh, Beverly Hills. He called me, and that was an actual, he asked it in a different way, in a very medical way, but right. he said, How, is that, you know, and he said, both flaccid, and, 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 and I go, yeah, both ways, it's all good, it got better. You know, right. so okay. Basically, the more weight that you lost, the more the turtle came out of its shell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As the guy, the guy, the thing I'm doing now, the diet show, the guy actually has a line. He has a line that you, you could have wrote it for him. He says, uh, he goes, I was a frightened, uh, what did he say, a frightened turtle. And then he said, by after he lost the weight, he was like a teenage ninja turtle on the uh, <laughs> Very good, I like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is uh, the Bocce Boys show. We had Eric here from The Biggest Loser. A great night again. All right, anyway. Uh, hot, uh, oh, oh, I almost did it. I'll take care of it. All right, you got it. This is the Bocce Boys Radio Show at 103.9 WRCN. What's the with rock that face? Yeah, why do you do it like that?